on Saturday and as Saturday's walk to fight rare diseases gets closer, we're giving you a closer look at what life is like for those dealing with these kinds of disorders. And helping this community is a major goal of the Denise DeCenzo Foundation. Today we're meeting two siblings in Norwich with the same condition that severely limits their diet. Here's Channel 3's Audrey Russo. Ask any vegetarian and they'll tell you. Others frequently debate what you can't eat. And they're like, oh good, so they can have fish, right? And I'm like, no, that's But 17-year-old like, oh, Marguerite Brown has no choice but to avoid meat. Too much could make her severely ill. My brain will just start working more slowly, like it'll take me longer to answer questions. She has phenylketonuria, or PKU, a condition that causes a buildup of phenylalanine, a protein building block in the body. It's a rare disease with fewer than 20,000 U.S. cases each year but it's an experience she shares. I like for PKU to be a part of me, but then not define me. With her younger brother, Henry. I have to get my first medication of the day. That's usually around 6.30 or 7 o'clock. I have to take two different medicines. And it's supposed to like supplement um, the lack of protein that I get. Because the siblings can't break down protein, that means entire sections of the grocery store become off limits. So we can't have meat, we can't have dairy, nuts, fish, eggs. Soy? Soy, yeah, no soy. No legumes either. Can't have quinoa. A lot of grains also. As for what they can eat, Marguerite has had to ask from a young age whether meals outside the home and in school are safe for both herself and Henry. I had to always be outspoken. I had to go like chase, <laughs> chase my brother down and be like, did you eat that? She's probably the reason that I don't have to worry about it as much. Phenylketonuria is often detected in a heel prick test on newborns. Undiagnosed cases can have disastrous effects on brain development. The Browns are past that point and they're able to manage their condition themselves. What they are starting to question is why it's so hard for others. For access to treatment for these things is often really difficult. Their medication eats up their family's $5,000 insurance deductible by February every single year. It costs $30,000, around $30,000 per child a year, and there's a lot of families out there that don't have all that kind of money. Marguerite recently spoke out again at a press conference arranged by the National Organization for Rare Disorders, standing up for those with unique conditions in a debate that's much bigger than what is or isn't on her plate. It's a big issue right now across the state. People with rare diseases are having a hard time getting their treatment covered by insurance. I spoke about the benefits to having treatment because I'm able to live a pretty normal life. In Norwich, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Boy, good for them for leading the charge with this. Audrey, thank you for sharing their story. By the way, you can join us Saturday for the Denise DeCenzo Foundation's Walk to Fight Rare Diseases. You can walk with us at Quinnipiac or virtually in your own neighborhood. We have a lot more information right now on the WFSB app.